If you thought you saw demigods in Wonder Woman, a pre-spider bite Peter Parker in Iron Man 2, and the destruction of humanity in Cars, turns out you were right, and you should always trust your instincts. While not every fan theory can be right, sometimes people on the internet get it exactly right, and creators of your favorite films and TV shows just have to give you credit. Today, we're counting down the top 10 fan theories that were confirmed by creators. Welcome to Total Nerd Rank, the show where we rank nerdy stuff. Before we jump in, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified about our new videos. Number 10. Peter Parker is the kid in Iron Man 2 Marvel is known for dropping subtle hints in their films for characters that will be included in upcoming movies. Knowing this, fans started to speculate that there was one Easter egg planted years before Spider-Man appeared in the MCU. There is a brief moment in Iron Man 2 where a small child stands up to the rogue robots attacking the public, with his brave sign of courage from a young age. Fans thought that this may actually be a young Peter Parker wearing his favorite superhero's mask. And in 2017, in an interview promoting Spider-Man Homecoming, Tom Holland confirmed that this was true. He mentioned that he likes the idea that Peter Parker has been in the universe since the beginning. This was definitely a fun nod to fans. It might have been what sparked Marvel to add everyone into the upcoming Spider-Man 3. No, really, everyone including Electro, Doc Ock, Two More Spider-Man, Beetlejuice, Waluigi, Macaulay Culkin, and that dude, this guy, and her. Number 9. Chief is a demigod. In Wonder Woman, Diana meets several heroes and friends in her quest to save the world from the evil Ares. Chief among them is a man named Chief. The two of them speak to each other in a non-subtitled foreign language. Okay, Titanico. Nafi. which turned out to be Blackfoot, a language native to several tribes in the US and Canada. Those who spoke the language figured out that the character of Chief introduced himself as Nafi, who is a demigod in Blackfoot culture. This led some fans to believe that the character was a deity, and not just another average normal dude like Chris Pine. Actor Eugene Braverock, who played Chief, confirmed on Twitter that Chief was intended to be a demigod. So to anyone hoping to get the full experience when you watch Wonder Woman 1984, I download Duolingo now. Number 8. Stan Lee is a Watcher In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, there is one character who appears more than any other. Stan Lee, the man who invented comic books, basically. While his appearances were always meant to just be fun wink-wink moments for the audience, this didn't stop fans from thinking about how his fourth wall breaking appearances might actually have worked into the Marvel story. Fans noted in the comics that the characters known as the Watchers are extraterrestrial beings who watch over the multiverse, which would make perfect sense for this omnipresent character that Stan Lee plays. Well, in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Stan's cameo actually features him with the Watchers. It's unclear if Stan is playing a Watcher or if he was just recruited by them, but it is clear that Stan is working with this group to spy on the events of every Marvel film. We here at Total Nerd choose to believe that Stan Lee himself was recruited by the Watchers to tell the entire Marvel story, and the whole MCU is just a documentary. Confirm that, Marvel. Or don't, you know, just a theory. Egg shell shield. Number 7. Cars Overthrew Humanity Cars is a fun 2006 kids movie that spawns two OK sequels, billions of dollars in merchandise, and the ride with the longest lines at Disneyland. And because it's a fun, sweet story, naturally people on the internet figured out a way to make it a nightmarish story where humanity is overthrown by their cars. Yes, for years, fans thought that the way that these cars came to be was that they became sentient, murdered their owners, and society carried on without humans. As dark as this theory was, turns out it's actually true? Cars creative director Jay Ward said in a 2017 Screen Crush interview that car technology is becoming so advanced that cars eventually said to themselves, why do we need human beings anymore? Let's get rid of them. Yikes. And I thought Up was dark because they killed one old lady. Number 6. Super Mario Bros. 3 is a stage play One of the most classic video games of its generation, Super Mario Bros. 3 is another classic Mario adventure through the world of the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario runs and jumps his way from set piece to set piece in an effort to once again rescue Princess Peach. However, fans noticed one interesting element was that the game opened with a curtain unveiling, and Mario ends each level by running off the side of the level into an area that resembles a backstage. This led fans to speculate that the entire game was not a real story in the Mario Kingdom, but actually a stage play put on by the characters. While these elements could have just been a stylistic choice, series creator Shigeru Miyamoto confirmed this theory in September 2015, saying the game was just a play put on by the characters. Not sure why he didn't confirm it back in 1990 when it still would have been eligible for the Tonys. It would have at least won Best Set Design. <laughs> Number 5. The End of Logan is Foreshadowed Get ready for some big ol' spoilers in this one. Wolverine is one of the most iconic characters in comic book film history. While the character appeared in many X-Men films and his own terrible spin-off films, fans knew at some point we were going to see him for the final time. While fans speculated for years about how and when the character might die, there were some who thought that Marvel had already given us the answer. 
In 2013's The Wolverine, Yukio tells Logan that she's seen his death and describes him as on his back, with blood everywhere and holding his own heart in his hand. And while only part of that ended up being literally true in 2017's Logan, fans pointed out that holding his heart in his hand may have been referring to him holding his daughter's hand at the end of the film. Director James Mangold later confirmed that this was an intentional decision and that the prophesied death was accurate, or at least it will be until X-Men writers or Deadpool himself try to mess with the timeline one more time. Just cleaning up the timelines! Number 4. Deckard is a Replicant The 80s classic Blade Runner was originally released in 1982 to mixed reviews. However, in the years that followed, many different cuts of the movie started being released after it came to light that the studio meddled in much of the production, and even altered some key moments in the film. Each new cut released in the years following changed how audiences perceived the movie, since it's ambiguous whether certain characters are humans or replicants. Naturally, fans have theorized for years about nearly every part of the film. One common suggestion is that the film's main character, Deckard, may have himself be a replicant. While Harrison Ford has rejected this theory, director Ridley Scott has actually confirmed this on multiple occasions. Though if you watch the upcoming re-release of the sequel Blade Runner 2049, it's actually revealed that Deckard is an older version of Peter Parker from Iron Man 2. No one saw it coming! Number 3. The Peddler is the Genie in 1992, Disney released its animated classic about a young, poor boy who does some stuff. And really, it's just an excuse to watch Robin Williams play the genie for 90 minutes. Hello, Aladdin. Nice to have you on the show. The genie spends much of the movie doing silly voices, impressions, and disguising himself as multiple characters. And so, fans of the movie who realized Williams also played the peddler at the beginning of the film naturally thought that this may have been just another version of the genie. And it turns out, that was a fair assumption. One of the co-directors of the film, Ron Clements, revealed that it not only was true in theory, but a scrapped ending of the film would have revealed that the two characters were one and the same. So while the peddler may have been the genie, we're still waiting to hear whether Will Smith was supposed to be a genie before they fixed the CGI in the remake's first trailer. Nope, still just a monster? Okay, moving on. Number 2. Dumbledore is Gay The wizarding world of Harry Potter has one of the largest fan communities in the world, and no shortage of fan theories to go with it. However, one of the earliest was established long before the series had even ended. In describing Dumbledore's early relationships, fans speculated that the significant relationship he had with Gellert Grindelwald was more than just a friendship, given how deep and close the books described them to be. Then in 2007, the author of the series, J.K. Rowling, confirmed that this was in fact canon. She even removed several references to Dumbledore's relationships from the sixth movie to further emphasize emphasize this move. While many fans loved this reveal and appreciated the representation, some were disappointed that this move came retroactively and wasn't incorporated into the series earlier. In fact, in the years that followed, fans were shocked by the real twist ending, that it turns out that the real villain of the Harry Potter series was J.K. Rowling. And finally, coming in at number 1, Destiel. Supernatural ran for 15 seasons on The CW, which was so long that the channel wasn't even called The CW when it was debuted. With over 300 episodes of the show, it was inevitable that fans would come up with theories about the show, especially considering it had a lot of, let's call them, supernatural elements. Among the most popular included a fan ship of two of its most prominent characters, which, I'm being told by my youth consultant, is when fans hope two characters have a romantic relationship and not a nautical thing. For years, fans thought that Dean and Castiel had more than just a BFF type thing going on, with a deep personal connection that philosophers have referred to as love. And while the Destiel fanship remained one of the internet's top talking points for years, it recently made its way onto the show. With three episodes remaining in the entire series, Castiel did in fact confirm he was in love with Dean. The reaction to the revelation was so huge that it actually became the number one trending topic on Twitter the night of the 2020 US presidential election. And because of a weird technicality the Electoral College, this actually meant that actor Jensen Ackles was confirmed as president-elect later that evening. And there you have it! Do you have any fan theories you want to see confirmed? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to check back next time to find out what else needs to be ranked.